Righto, sports lovers, we're back. It's another edition of Snapping with the Stars. She's a 400-metre runner who's represented Australia at World Juniors, University Games, Com Games, the World Relays and the World Championships. She hails from Sydney, New South Wales, and last year at the Australian Athletics Championships, this is what she did. Australians up in the lead from the outside. To do Morgan Mitchell starts to wind up and Ruby using her endurance. Caitlin Sarge is still in the lead. Ruby on the inside, on the inside. Mitchell coming. Adelaide's Ruby gets up on the inside. Adelaide's Ruby is your Australian champion oh, in the 400 it. metres, 52 72 on a 50. So let's give her a huge snapping with the stars round of applause for Annalise Ruby. Now, Annie, tell us, uh, you've been selected with these legends to represent Australia at the upcoming Rio Olympics. Tell me, what was it like when you heard your name called out to represent Australia at the Rio Olympics and what's been happening the last couple of days? Hi, guys. Thanks for having me on your Snapchat. Um, I guess it was pretty exciting to find out. I actually didn't realise I was going to... Yeah, I didn't realise I was going to be selected... Um, until that night and I was so nervous waiting with my parents to find out whether my name would be called. And they had a guard of honour with um, all of the Olympians in the room that were there and my boyfriend, Lachlan Renshaw, <laughs> was in the guard and they called my name and I just started sobbing, like not even tearing up, I was literally just like sobbing. And I gave him a big hug and walked up and um, he the last few days I've just been um, chilling out really, having a bit of a break. I had a cold and some niggles throughout the last few weeks, so just getting them. So I'll be back to training probably over the weekend and planning where I'll be off to over the next few months, which could be America or Europe. Now you mentioned there about the Guard of Honour by the Olympians. What I'd like to know is who have been your heroes growing up and with any of them there on the night? Question. Um, heroes, I mean, obviously the main answer is Kathy Freeman, who she wasn't there, but um, Mel GT, she was a big one, and she Mel actually lives in my area, so I see her down at the track coaching kids a lot, which is cool, so she's been a big supporter, so she gave me a big hug as well when I got selected. And Johnny Steph, actually, he's been pretty cool when he was on the Glasgow team with us, and he was there, and he, um, yeah, was pretty excited too, so that was probably it. More days of break means I get to look at this section. Yeah. Hmm, I'd be interested to see what you went there. We might actually come back to that a little bit later. So, snapping with the stars, time to ask Annie. Just direct snappers now. Well, Angus Dodd asks about food. He said, uh, what's your staple food? So, what are the foods that you eat during the week, during training, and also on game day during competition? Thanks, Angus, for the question. Um, I don't really have a staple food, but I guess my favourite foods to eat during like race week. The, um, I love a steak. Um, I love prawns and fish, um, a salmon and stuff like that with sweet potato. My favourite meal is definitely breakfast. I love having my muesli, yoghurt, berries or porridge. So I will sometimes have that three times a day. And race day consists of my brekkie, and then I have probably a smoothie, salad wrap, um, and I have a banana right before I start warming up, um, and just nibble on nuts and protein bar and stuff during the day. So yeah. Three breakfasts a day? How good is that? Now the next question on Ask Annie comes from Nikki. And she says, how do you have your coffee? Very timely question, Nikki. Um, generally, I have a skinny flat white or I have a skim cappuccino or a piccolo. Annie, the fans are always full of fantastic questions. Now, this is a great question that's just come in from Matt Axford from South Australia. We had a sneaky peek of it at the start of the season, but are you planning? And if so, when are you going to step up to the 800 metres? And I'll throw in on top of that, just talk us through the differences between the 4 and the 800, apart from distance, so training and certain fitness. Hey Matt, thanks for your question. Um, I've definitely considered it. I almost considered doing it this year if I got the qualifier, but I was just off. I know that I'd ever stop doing 
course completely because I love them too much. But I might dabble a little bit more in eights next year, maybe even 2018. One of the differences I've found is um, how much focus you need in the 800, um, especially in the second lap. It's um, something that you, I've really needed to work on. The training is obviously slightly different. Um, they're probably bigger volume sessions, um, longer reps and less rest. I've actually found though that those sessions have really helped my 400s and my 400 training because the fitter you are, obviously the quicker you recover and the more training you can do. This is Mossy and Robbo's Snapping with the Stars with Annalise Ruby. Annie, the next question comes from Toby, and he says, if you weren't doing athletics, what sport would you be doing? Hey, Toby. Thanks for your question. Um, I've always thought I'd probably want to be a tennis player if I could choose another sport, purely for the travel and the prize money. I think. Just quickly add, though, I have terrible hand-eye coordination, so that is never going to happen, unfortunately. Tim Rosen asks about the relay in Rio. The 4x4, you're in. Jess and Morgan, who's going to be the final couple of spots? So I knew someone was going to ask me that question and I've come prepared. What's your thoughts? Whip it cross husky. I think he'd be great. I've even been teaching him how to use a baton. Ready? Hand. Go, 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 go. Maybe not. <laughs> In all seriousness, I think um, Caitlin probably has the next best chance, given that she came fourth at the trials and has the next quickest PB, um, and she's been on heaps of teams. But it's awesome that we've got um, Monica, Jess Gooley, Lindsay, Tamsin, um, Loz Wells, everyone in the mix. Because the more depth there is, the more competitive it will be, and we need four people to run 51.5, I reckon, to make the final, and we're pretty close. So Really? Do you want to go to Rio? Do you want to go to Rio? Come on, let's go. That would be so good to see your dog bring home the bat in Australia in the 4x4 at Rio. Next question comes from a good friend of yours, Ella Nelson. And she says, who's your favourite roomie and why? Hi, Ella. Kind of feel set up in this question, I should say, Ella Nelson. No, seriously, we've been rooming together since 2010. We've been to Europe, Com Game, and our events seem to gel really well together. The 400s never on the same time as the 200s, so we're not really in each other's face, and we just can chill out really easily. Also helps that we're good friends, so we don't really get on each other's nerves at all, especially when you're nervous. That's when you don't want someone that gets on your nerves. I am buggered. Just a nice little session. Hockey training. <laughs> Had a great question come in from uh, Caitlin, and it says, um, "What was your main inspiration to take up athletics?" Caitlin, um, I actually got into athletics because I watched an ad on TV with Shervo on it, um, advertising for Little Athletics, and I was like, "Mom, I want to do that." And being a beaches girl, I did nippers at the time. Loved all the sand sprints, everything like that. And anything that involved getting in the water, I was like, no way. And time came to try out little A's. And I got to the track and was like, whoa, it's like nippers, but without the water. Perfect. I was in like 98 or 99, I think. And so the next year there was the Sydney Olympics. And I went along and watched that and was just inspired to keep going and hopefully make it to the Olympics myself. Hey Annie, Robbo here, loving your work. Just got a question in from Big Macca's One who'd like to know, what are your goals for Rio? My goals for Rio definitely include making a semi-final at least and running a PB for sure, hopefully in like a low 50. And as well as my individual goals, I also have a goal that the relay team can make the final, which will be tough, but I think it's realistic and um, it would be pretty So, throwing it back to you, Robbo, where did that Kenyan jacket come from? It's pretty neat. Ah, uh, yes, thanks, Rubes. Yeah, well, the Kenyan jacket actually came from uh, E10 in Kenya, the home of champions. And a good mate of mine, Andrew Dodd, was just over there, and uh, he was kind enough to pick one of these up for me. So, yeah, wearing it around, uh, trying to see if a bit of elite Kenyan distance running can rub off on me. Let's hope that they can compete at Rio. Now, speaking of Rio, just wondering if you can show everyone 
your shiny new Rio boarding pass. And another quick question, what's your dog's name? Because this is Bella and I think it's probably the first time we've had dogs meeting on Snapping with the Stars. How good's that? Pass. Let me see. Which one was it? Oh, there it is. Ta da! My dog's name is Billy, and I'll just go see if he's awake. He's in his bedroom. Hello, Billy. Now there comes a time in every show when. You have to say goodbye, and I never know how to do it. But before we do that, I need to ask you something. It's time for your dream comp, so you can compete against anyone, dead or alive, in any location in the world. So who are you competing against, and whereabouts is it? All right, I'm going to say in Monaco with Alison, Sanya, Kathy. And Marie de Kock and Marie Jose Perec. I reckon that would be a pretty cool and very fast. And finally, uh, where can we hang out with you online? Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those things. Tell us your handles. Thanks so much for having me, guys. I've really enjoyed all your questions. And I hope you've learned a little bit about me. If you ever see me on the track, come say hi.